Hello, namaste. Um, we are here with our friend uh, Michelle Thompson, and uh, today we just got together uh, to talk a little bit about water. Uh, we just celebrated uh, World Water Day yesterday, and we are here to talk about uh, the importance of uh, water in our lives. Um, how does it reflect in our lives? Um, what is the awareness of this precious yet uh, diminishing freshwater resource mean to us? We're talking with our friend Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Victor. How are you? Good, good. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Awesome. So, who you are and what do you do? So, like Victor said, I'm Michelle Thompson. I'm a student at the University of Saskatchewan and I study gender studies. I've also been involved with Oxfam in the past, and so that's where lots of my knowledge about water has come from, through their campaigning. Awesome, awesome. Um, so would you like to give us some insights uh, into the uh, importance of water, fresh water especially, and uh, what does it mean to, to us? Yeah, definitely. So. Um, like that poem says, um, it's about a sailor on the ocean and there's water everywhere but not a drop to drink. So fresh water is a diminishing resource in lots of the world. Something that we often forget here in Canada when we can turn on our taps in the cities and have water lots of the time. But even in Canada it's a really big problem on First Nation reserves, mm -hmm. for example. Many communities don't have fresh drinking water, so it's important to remember that this is a problem that happens all over the world, mm -hmm. including in Canada right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, well, would you like to talk a little bit about uh, um, some tips that an individual can take um, um, as to leading his, his or her life? Um, how, do, how do you save water? How do you take care of this resource? Yeah, so there's lots to do that we can, so in our individual lives, mm -hmm. lots of small changes that mm -hmm. can really add up. Mm -hmm. Um, like we were talking about before, just not running the tap while we're brushing our teeth or washing our vegetables mm -hmm. or waiting for the hot water to come. Mm -hmm. If you do want to run the water, then have a bucket nearby and mm -hmm. save it. You can use that for flushing the toilets mm -hmm. or watering your indoor plants, um, that sort of thing. Um, it's also a systematic problem, so uh, lots of the water use happens in big corporations. Mm -hmm. So first of all, not buying bottled mm -hmm. water. Uh, we have lots of access to clean city mm -hmm. water here mm -hmm. in Saskatoon, mm -hmm. so taking advantage mm -hmm. of that, just like Victor is mm -hmm. right now. I'm drinking some tap water from the city. Yeah, so carrying your water That's bottle. Um, if you want to make some bigger changes, you can put some pressure on corporations mm -hmm. or uh, the government for their extreme water use. Mm -hmm. um, kind of looking at practices um, in our whole global system mm -hmm. that use water. Mm -hmm. So a good resource is Maude Barlow's mm -hmm. books. Um, she speaks a lot about kind of the systematic mm -hmm. pressures mm -hmm. that are a bit harder to understand mm -hmm. and are removed mm -hmm. from our everyday life. Mm -hmm. um, taking shorter showers, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. um, those are all good ways to start. Yeah. Uh, you can also build what's called a toilet dam. Mm -hmm. So if you have an older style toilet, this doesn't work for low flush mm -hmm. or low flow toilets, mm -hmm. um, but if you have an older style toilet that has say a 20 liter or more flush, mm -hmm. you can create, a, just take a, a mason jar bigger than that, say one liter, mm -hmm. put some rocks in it or fill it with water and put it in the back of your toilet bowl mm -hmm. away from the plumbing. Mm -hmm. So you save that liter or liter and a half every time you yeah, flush. Yeah, exactly. We did that in our place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, so uh, would you also like to uh, uh, talk a little bit about um, uh, the challenge that you took and uh, maybe find some online resources and we'll link it to the, those resources. Also this book, um, um, we're going to link, um, we're going to link this video, sorry, this book uh, with the video here. And you can have a look at the at the book on the link. And uh, so the challenge you took, um, like, uh, can people find that online? So this was a challenge a few years ago that mm -hmm. the Oxfam group did on campus. Mm -hmm. We did it collectively. Mm -hmm. So some people have done it across North America or in Europe as well, where you only use 25 liters of water a day, mm -hmm. and that's symbolic of many people in the two thirds yeah. two thirds world who yeah. only have that much water to use a day mm -hmm. or less. Mm -hmm. And so you use that for your cooking, your mm -hmm. drinking, your mm -hmm. bathing, everything. Mm -hmm. 
and we kept a blog. So this happened, I think, 2010. It's a little bit old, but you can find people doing this online if you search 25 liter water challenge. So maybe we can link a couple of those. Um, it's a really, if you're curious about your water use, trying to keep track of it is a really good way to find out how much water you are in fact using. And when you limit it to just 25 liters of water a day, you realize how quickly that water is either flushed away, washed down the tap, or um, how thirsty you become because you've already used your daily total. Mm -hmm. No, that, that's, that's really good. good. Um, so that way, by tracking the use of uh, your personal use of water, you, you become aware of um, how much water we use daily and how much um, uh, globally people use uh, on average water, right? So it brings us to this point um, that we are actually aware of um, how much we, uh, the resources are precious. Um, so uh, before um, ending this uh, conversation, uh, do you have some compassion and motivation for our audience here? Um, it, could be, it could be about water, it could be about anything else. I think since we're on the topic of yeah. water, I think for me what's um, really changed my water use is realizing that water is a precious resource mm -hmm. now and mm -hmm. that um, just because we have an abundance here in Saskatoon, or it appears that way, mm -hmm. um, that many people have been suffering from droughts and mm -hmm. flooding and other environmental mm -hmm. disasters that mm -hmm. have contaminated their water mm -hmm. or they haven't been able to mm -hmm. access water. Mm -hmm. And if you watch the National Film Board movie, Refugees of the Blue Planet, mm -hmm. you can see that many, many people around the world mm -hmm. are affected by water already, or water, mm -hmm. um, the lack of water mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So. Recognizing that these problems are happening already um, enabled me to change my personal relationship to water. So maybe that would be a good way to start for other people as well. Excellent. That's great. Thank you. Thanks, Victor. Awesome. So if you like this video, um, um, please subscribe to the channel below. And we'll bring you uh, Motivation Mondays. Uh, start your week with inspiration to live with big hearts and open minds. Thank you. Namaste. We are here at the Rotary Park in Saskatoon. It's kind of chilly here. You can see the water flowing here. You can hear the birds, geese. Beautiful. Peaceful.